Hello everyone and welcome. I am Cherry Tihange from Warfish Bay Corridor Group Marketing and Communications Department. With me today is the team leader of the JICA expert team known as a cold-blooded economist, Mr. Shigeki Kawahara, here to speak to us about the logistics master plan. Welcome, Mr. Kawahara. It's a compliment, Charity. Thank you. Now, Mr. Kawahara, tell us about the master plan. What are the ultimate goals of the Logistics Hub master plan concluded in the year 2015? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, a goal of the master plan is that uh, Namibia mm -hmm. to become an international logistics hub right. to serve the South region. More specifically, it is for Namibia to become a preferred gateway for landlocked countries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now tell us in your view, having been involved with the master plan since, in, since its inception, what are the priorities to focus on um, the master plan by the year 2025? Uh, yes, uh, please uh, clarify the, the context mm -hmm. and the characteristics of the master plan first. Mm -hmm. That master plan is a package of minimum requirements to make use of what Namibia already have or plans to have mm -hmm. in several uh, years right. to come. So that, that master plan itself does not propose any mega project mm. uh, to complete 10, 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, many people misunderstood that the new container terminal development was proposed by the master plan, but actually it was not. Okay. Uh, new container terminal development was already in progress mm -hmm. some years even before the master plan formulation. Mm -hmm. So for us, uh, container terminal development was a given condition in the process of formulating the master plan. Right. So the main target mm -hmm. uh, is the transit cargo business, mm -hmm. which are serving the landlocked countries. Mm -hmm. Likewise, Volvis Bay Undula Lubumbash Development Corridor, mm -hmm. or WBNLDC, mm -hmm. is the main target corridor among the other corridors. Right. So the transit cargo volume of WBN LDC has been growing in the last five years. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much delighted to, to know that. Mm. Now it shares almost 80% of the total transit cargo to those landlocked uh, countries. So I would like to emphasize that Namibia has to concentrate on removing the immediate bottlenecks along the corridor as soon as possible. Uh, right, let me interrupt you there, Mr. Kawahara. Yes. Uh, what are the bottlenecks? Uh, there are quite a few, mm -hmm. uh, small but uh, very significant okay. in effect, such as the bottlenecks in the border post uh, processes. Mm -hmm. They are all paperwork, not really fully uh, digitized, mm. and also there are some uh, inconsistency mm. in applying the policy measures to each and every uh, trailers to go through the border. Right. 